The 4th of July? There, there's going to be a few storms, not only this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, maybe even in the evening. We're going to have to have to deal with small chances of, of thunderstorms here through the holiday period, but they're going to stay small. For most of us, it's just going to be some hot weather ahead. So as this is time-lapse video here across starting at 9 this morning, we can see rain off to the distance. You see it pass over there just to the north of downtown Dallas as it uh, moved across Allen and Plano. Here is a big picture of satellite radar for the last couple of hours and this activity was was spun off of this we had a little bit of shower activity over Denton and Collin County that has since died out as it's moved north of Canton now and has continued this stuff moving off to the east and, and that was just a tremendous rain event uh, for Lamar County you see Emory's getting a little bit of a shower activity uh, now our eyes return to the northwest you see this cloud cover there's a few been a few showers those have since died out but this is going to be moving over north Texas when I'm saying this you see that circulation right there. This is going to be moving over Texas during the heat of the day, and this might be enough to get another round of thunderstorms going. But oh, what a morning it was in Lamar County. Look at that heavy rain, just several rounds of it after the midnight hour. Rainfall totals, well, inside Paris, four and almost four and a half inches of rain, 4.22 inches of rain. Look upstream in the Cato Wildlife Area, 8.71 inches of rain recorded there, and that just fell this morning. All right, so we can see that there's a lot of activity here and there. We've got this northwest flow up to the, all these thunderstorms coming up from the north, coming down from the north that have developed in the daytime heating. It's always tricky forecasting this. You can see how the, we were expecting another outbreak of severe weather across Oklahoma during the afternoon. And with that northwest flow aloft, going to bring these thunderstorms down into North Texas. That's why we have an enhanced area. We have uh, isolated severe weather anticipated along the Red River. We have some strong winds and some small hail with this. So we keep storm chances around for the rest of the day. 20% chance, so 80% of the area won't see any rain or thunderstorms, but those thunderstorms do develop, they could be stronger. The better chances are going to be along the Red River. Storm chances tonight, mostly along the Red River, and some of this has developed up north to us during the daytime heating and comes down through the overnight hours. Fourth of July, same story, much like today, kind of depending where the storms are to the north. They could be spreading new here during the day, be around during the evening hours. So we'll have to deal with these storm chances, but we're certainly all of us going to have to deal with the heat. Mid 90s for highs both today and tomorrow. Feel like temperatures between 102, 107 for the fireworks show. Yeah, there's storm chances, but it's certainly going to be warm and muggy. You see how the warm July weather sticking around all the rest of the work week, even getting a little hotter as we get into the weekend, and they will also have slight storm chances.